Will life be a little bit more interesting if we could turn it into a video game? Well, you can. Hey, what's up, my friend? My name is Ed Gasha, and this is Set on Gaming. And there is this concept called gamification, and it's very simple. Grab your typical video game and try to see what makes it interesting, fun, rewarding, and bring those elements that make it so into your business, into your education, into your life, and that's it. That's, that's gamification in a nutshell. And you've seen it before, probably there are a lot of brands and websites that are using our reward systems and points and titles, achievements and all that jazz. And well, yeah, not all of gamification practices are top notch right now, but still that doesn't mean that we cannot actually use that idea of pulling what makes a good video game good and put it into our lives and actually make them better. And guess what? There's even apps to help you with that. But before we start, don't forget that we upload life hacks and life inspiration based always on video games and the geek culture every other week. So don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of it. Number three, Avitica. And Avitica is perhaps the first app that a lot of people will get to know when trying to achieve this video game into live situation. It has a lot of features like character creation and you can even buy armor with the rewards you get once you complete your day-to-day -day chores. I mean, you can even invite your friends to form parties and play this together. My problem with this is and why it's actually in third place instead of higher on this list is because the app, the mobile app, actually it's a mess. Probably has to do with the design of the app, the colors used and all of that, because I'm actually not a fan either. It looks generic, bland, looks nothing like a video game. And that really, really puts me off. So if you can pass to see all of my little complaints, then probably this will be your top app for a lot of people it is. But for me, yeah, it's it's not my cup of tea, which is why I actually found number two, Epic Win. Speaking of design, this goes above and beyond. The high fantasy cartoonish style of this app is beautiful. However, this is a more simple app where you cannot do as much as with Avitica. Instead of character creation, you can just select an avatar and they are amazingly done, but the avatar, as far as I know, they never change, or at least until the level I am, and that's a little meh. Because one of the things that I love about RPGs and MMORPGs is to see the progression of your character, to see how it goes from being nothing to a, be a full armored warrior or monk or whatever. But you can add quests, which is your to-do list, your day-to-day -day chores, your habits, whatever. You can just add them there as quests. And the app will actually reward you with experience points to level you up and with miles walked in this interesting map where you will find the most valuable part of this app, the items. And not that the items actually do anything because they don't, but this is where you start seeing a little bit more of the app's personality. It has a really dry humor. These items, you get them randomly every few, every few tasks you complete, every few miles that you your character works and you can collect all of them but since they are random you cannot actually target them which is actually good because you could like probably lose a lot of time in this game if you could target which rewards you want. Life RPG is an app that I really really liked and the only reason why it's not actually in the top 3 is because apparently it's a abandoned app. It's not longer receiving any updates and it has some interesting, well, app crashing glitches. It does everything Epic Windows already and a little bit more. It's a really easy to understand, really easy to see app. It's not thematic like Epic Win, but still the design is really, really good and it's top notch and I really like it. You cannot really create a sprite character like an Avitica, but the icons that you can select to for your profile are still beautiful. The graphic designer in me is actually fangirling over these things. And you can really do anything you want in this app, like you can add your own stats, you can add your own skills, you can add your own rewards, your 
achievements, everything in this app. You can add your own sounds. It's really customizable. So if you're an old style RPG fan, you will find Life RPG a really good match for you. Again, not all is perfect. The glitches it has, well, sometimes can crash the app and, and can become a little frustrating. Also, if you don't want to actually add all of this data, you will not find this app really useful or entertaining. So, which is why we have actually Do It Now is an amazing, amazing app. It does everything Life RPG does, like the skills, like the stats, like the achievements, it, it does everything like everything but it's a little bit better because it already has suggested stats suggested uh skills suggested everything even sounds of, of 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 its own which actually make it a lot easier to just download the app add your task or your quests whatever you want to call them add your rewards if you have any and just enjoy the app and if you still want to add your own stats and skills and all of that yes you can still do it as simple as that my one and only complaint with do it now is the design, again, is not as good as Life RPG and it's not as interesting as Epic Wins. But still, it's, it's a really useful app and it's a really good app. And it's the main one that I'm using right now. So, yeah. And one last thing. Those are the top three apps for gamifying your life. But how much you use them and how well you use them actually depends on who is using them. Which is something I like because it really helps me with the system that I already have of gamifying my life. And if you want to know more about it and how to better use these apps, please let me know in the comments down below. If you found this information useful or interesting, please give me a like. If you didn't, you can always dislike. And until the next one, see you around, my friend.